Good afternoon, this is a tropical update on Invest91L. As always, my thoughts in this video are mine alone and making decisions, please consult the National Hurricane Center for the best latest information for where you're at. Also, if you wanna stay up to date on Invest91L, please consider subscribing, hitting that bell icon, and giving this a huge thumbs up and sharing this with your family and friends on social media. Also, if you feel like you wanna be part of the weather community, feel free to join the Weather United Discord server today there is a link in the description below this video that's where you get to know me and know my staff and other people so here's a look at the latest satellite imagery provided by tropicaltidbits.com this is the meso sector and we can see what invest 91 looks like as it gets close to barbados some of the leeward islands and windward islands down here we can see there is a former circulation of a low level swirl that we see here but there's a lot of shear that's preventing this from getting better organized instead we may have a low level center that might be trying to reform underneath the deep convection here that we see and you'll see this on some of our satellite observations along to go with our recon data in just a second but also there is still some hint of some pretty strong deep layer shear to the north of this see all these clouds to the north here they're being sheared by the cirrus that are flowing in out of the southwesterly direction we have low level clouds that are moving in this general direction so there is a hint we do have a lot of shear here to the northwest of the system at around 40 to 60 knots so that is quite substantial and that's what's keeping this system from developing and that's why we do have a naked swirl as you see here here on the meso floater satellite imagery but we also have um, southwesterly winds coming in underneath this system with what we see here with northeasterly winds on the northwestern side so we have an envelope of energy here a wave we call it this wave pocket that is located roughly about 11 degrees north latitude by about 57 degrees west in longitude. And we'll see if we get any perturbation of a spin up underneath this deep convection that could become our next system to watch. One more way we can see this is by a recon mission that is currently investigating the system. And we can see again, just like our ACE gap pass, really not defined at all. We have southerly winds here at about 20 to maybe close to 30 knots here with very little loose wind out of the northwesterly direction on the western side of the system so again this is really poorly defined even so it may look better organized on satellite we don't have a good surface observations to prove that this is a closed circulation and instead we have winds that are kind of bending around kind of like this kind of a wave envelope or a wave pocket that the recon is currently underneath and that's where we have a lot of the deep convection currently on going and it's possible we may have a relocation or a reformation of the low level center under this deep convection just about how much deep convection this can develop and be able to um to revigorate something at the surface so when we take a look at the european model here over the next five days you can see clearly this is not going to organize very quickly at all as it moves across the southern windward islands so maybe some strong winds some heavy rainfall maybe some strong lightning strikes and some high surf out of this but really nothing too substantial maybe some flooding at the very most of the impacts so as this goes across the southern portion of the caribbean it is very poorly defined really not much going on at all no closed surface low it is looks like maybe a little bit of shear might be impacting this as you can see by a lot of the rainfall and then going forward here it tries to organize probably by day three and four when it gets into the southwestern caribbean but again really poorly defined here very weak surface slow by any means maybe at most we get a tropical depression out of this but i'm not even predicting that far in advance just yet because again there is quite a bit of uncertainty that remains and then maybe a stronger system by the time it hits near honduras in portions of central america uh, not south america but i mean central america just to the northwest of the um panama uh, panama 
a canal area. The GFS likes to be a little bullish on this forecast, so let's take a look at this. So right now, really poorly defined in the next couple of days. I mean, you can't even see anything on this map at all. Not much vorticity, just an area of broader circulation. Then the system may try to develop by the time we go into five days, but I mean, look at that. Five days out, we barely have anything that tries to form here. Maybe some strong storms, maybe s some organization to do with it, but really no hurricane, no monstrous storm at all just yet. But quite a bit of moisture leading behind this, which indicates we might have a little bit of a semblance of shear over the system throughout its journey across the Caribbean. Not a whole lot of shear, enough to destroy the system, but enough to probably offset the centers just a hair to prevent at least some rapid intensification. Another way we can see this is on the Canadian model. We're comparing all three of these models. Again, there's your system in the southern Windward Islands, very weak by all of the model guidance that we have this uh, afternoon. And then the system, really bullish on the Canadian, one of the worst bullish models that you can probably see on this model cycle four days out we have a tropical storm and then if not maybe a major hurricane in some sense by day five i mean wow two of the most reliable global models the gfs and the european model do not barely indicate anything while the Canadian model, on the other hand, indicates that we could see a powerful system, which is probably an outlier model, given the fact that our two most reliable models are not really exciting at this point. And this, again, is about day five. So, again, a lot can change between now and then. And, of course, the system is in its early formative stage, so a lot can still change between now and then. So let's take a look here at our um, spaghetti plot model guidance. This is what I like to look at quite a bit because we want to know where is it going to head and how strong is it going to go. So we can see, um, of course, the Southern Windward Islands is definitely on the plate for impacts, some minor to moderate impacts at the most. And then again, where does it go? Does it end up over here? Does it end up over here? Does it end up over here? Pretty big model spread here, and it all depends on exactly how strong this gets. Because a system that's really strengthening quickly and it's stronger will likely move more poleward than, say, a shallower vortex that's likely to follow the trade wind flow that is likely to move off towards the west and impact, say, Honduras, maybe near Costa Rica in the next five days. So there's a lot of variability here in the model guidance. And there's a lot of variability as far as how intense this could get. We can see uh, 91L could become a tropical storm in about 24 to 36 hours, which is probably a little bit of an outlier at this point. A little bullish on the intensity forecast because, again, we got to wait for a low-level center to close off to get better defined and organized. Then we can literally make accurate forecasts. And then by day three, this could become a high-end tropical storm or a low-grade hurricane. And then by day five, maybe a category two or a major hurricane. I mean, what the heck? What the heck models? I mean, you're really bullish, very bullish on the forecast. And so therefore, my intensity forecast is literally on the low end. And I am literally indicating that this could become a 35 to 40 mile an hour tropical storm. In fact, you know what? I'm going to lower my forecast even further. I'm only forecasting literally, I'm not even predicting that this is going to intensify at all, essentially, until we get more better accuracy in model guidance. It is argued enough that I even indicate that this has a 10 to 20% chance of tropical formation in the next five days. Literally, very low impetus in my forecast, and I'm below the entire model guidance by day three, four, and five. So please understand that. Yes, I might be under hyping this, but also I'm being more generous because we got to be careful when we are looking at these type of systems. You just never know with what is going to kind of creep around the wall and bite you on the face. And in other words, a little bit of an analogy that I wanted to show you or tell you all about because these systems are pretty uh, tricky to predict, especially when they're off-center like this. Before I do in the video, I always like to read the scripture at the end of each video, so follow along with me in the book of Titus, chapter 1, verse 5 through verse 10. 
This is why I left you in create so that you might put what reminded you into order and appoint elders in every town as I directed to you. If anyone is above reproach, the husband of one wife and his children are believers and not open to the change of debauchery or insubordination. For an overseer, as God's steward, must be above reproach. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or drunkard or violent or greedy for gain, but hospitable a lover of God, self-controlled, upright, holy, and disciplined. He must hold firm to the trustworthy word as taught, so that maybe he will be able to give instruction in sound, doctrine, and also to rebuke who, those who, who contradict it. For there are many who are insubordinate, empty talkers, and deceivers, especially those of the circumcision party. This is the book of Titus, chapter 1. If you found this weather information very helpful, make sure you smash the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future updates. But anyways, I will see you in the next one. Peace!